hello to all my friends out there. So I don't have my um, waterfall plugged in because it's very late and I usually try to air it out in between uses. Uh, I take pretty good care of my, st my stuff so I don't have to buy new stuff. So uh, it's late and you know I'm still on the diet. And I'm going around in my mind, gee, what happened the other day when I was sick. And so I decided that I better lose a little weight. And uh, so I'm on the low-carb diet. And these are bacon ends. I buy these at um, Grocery Outlet. Sometimes I buy bacon. It just depends if I can get a good deal. And so what I want to do is be very, very thrifty. And so I'm going to save my bacon grease. I don't want to fry my eggs in the bacon grease. I don't want to mess up another pan either, though. So while uh, these eggs are frying, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys. Okay. Um, I, I'm feng shui in the house, but I'm also cleaning my house. And uh, I'm thinking about this coronavirus and um, or any sickness. And in the Bible, it talks about the destroying angel will pass over the righteous people's houses. So you might be going, well, gee, how could that happen? Well, uh, oh, I got a shell in one thing might be uh, if you're a uh, cleaner, you might uh, be um, less likely to pick something up. So um, I'm, I'm subscribing to this woman, um, Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Living. Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Living. And uh, I've really learned a lot of stuff from her so what she does is a lot when she's cleaning she boils the water so I started doing that you know when I was cleaning and uh, I put uh, boiling water in my dishwater and uh, my stuff is so much cleaner part of the feng shui is getting your uh, dwelling spotlessly clean so when I clean I'm using four or five about this size pan boiling water when I clean. And so my, I'll put it back here so you can see it. So you can imagine my dwelling is getting a lot cleaner. So, um, you know, uh, and you know, the kitchen is so much better. So then I noticed what she did, I, I'm going to move over here so it's not by my food, is she bought this 91% alcohol, and I had never really noticed it. I'm sure I've been around it in salons. So I put some in a bottle, and I sprayed it around, and then I mopped it up with boiling water, and boy, was my stuff clean. And another thing is... In China, they're not able to get this stuff. It's sold out, so I'll be buying a few. I've always used bleach. Nine parts water, one part bleach. But this alcohol and this boiling water really good, works good, too. Now, another thing I just discovered that works really good is equal parts cleaning vinegar and uh, equal parts dish soap. Now, that works really good, too as well and also Ricky and I did a video and and we talked about how you could use Comet in place of bleach even in your laundry if you had some real filthy stuff that needed to be washed so Comet could be used in place of bleach so alcohol and boiling water vinegar and dish soap bleach one part bleach nine parts water Comet can be used in place of bleach. I want my followers to know this stuff. Now I want to show you guys something. This is China, and, and these are children, but look at this. Somebody doesn't have her mask on, and somebody doesn't have their nose covered. 
this is the problem. Uh, some people in China have not been compliant and, and it's harmed everyone. Uh, they weren't supposed to be selling the swine that was contaminated and they did it anyway. And now, uh, you know, um, I'm going to turn my eggs over for a minute just to make sure they're cooked through. So uh, we want to be very careful, especially in our, our dwellings, because if you can keep things out of your own house, that's going to help. And the other thing is don't go to places you're likely to encounter uh, contamination. Uh, also, I'm going to drink up the last part of my uh, powdered milk I had left. So, uh, you know, I'm having to shun carbohydrates and sugar, but Sprouts has these cage-free eggs, two for five dollars, and I think that's about the, the you know, cheapest you're going to find them. And then I wanted to talk to you guys a tiny bit about uh, lower class food. You know, since this thing happened to me, I go, wow, you know, poor you. That's you, the lower class. Not that I didn't know that. I mean, you know, all of us that are in the very lowest class of, of people know it. But uh, we're not totally powerless. Okay, the poorest people, historically, you can look this stuff up online, would eat potatoes, bread, and cheese. The working class would eat meat a couple of times a week. The middle class would have three good meals a day, eggs, bacon, bread, mutton, pork, potatoes, rice, milk, sugar, and jam. And so in my videos, you will notice that pretty much um, this is what I eat. Eggs, bacon, bread, not mutton, pork, you know, bacon, potatoes, rice, milk, sugar, and jam. And you can make your own jam, even if you're in the um, poorest of classes, sometimes. Okay, there is a higher incident of obesity in the lower class, and fast food is fast food targets the lower class. One uh, thing they cite is sweetened beverages, but they don't say Coca-Cola. Uh, the lower class has less fruit, vegetables, and dairy. Diet quality follows so the socioeconomic gradients. So the higher the money, the better the, the, um, the better the diet. The lower class, fewer vegetables. So that's why you want to pursue canned vegetables and frozen vegetables. The higher class are eating much more fruit. And I'm thinking, why are the higher class so invested in fruit eating? Fruit is really sugar. Frutose? Well, there's a reason is because if they're trying to, they go, well, it's micronutrients, possibly, but... If you eat a lot of fruit, you're you're going to be regular and you're not going to be fat. I think that's a lot of it. The higher class, more whole grains, and they're um, upping their consumption of refined grains. And the poorer class are eating white bread and cornflakes. The higher class are eating nuts, seeds, peanut butter, and raw um, almonds. And uh, we're going to get into that in a second. The higher class are eating better than ever, swapping fruit juice for whole fruits. They're get, eating whole fruits, replacing refined grains with whole grains, and eating tons of nuts and fish. They're minimizing sugar, salt, processed meat, and saturated uh, fat. No data on the upper um, two percent. They're the upper two percent are probably eating a nearly perfect um, consumption of meals, like a complete uh, meals that are completely balanced. Uh, income less than fifty thousand, fifteen thousand would be lower, and above forty-five thousand would be middle. 
um, higher than 45,000, a lower consumption of burgers and sandwiches. 30,000 to 45,000, lower consumption of mixed dishes. I would assume that would be like casseroles. Uh, on the lower uh, um, class, intake of cereal, breads, and dairy products. Uh, the upper is 100% fruits, the lower fruit juices. They, they hammer away on the fruit juices. Married individuals are consuming more snacks and desserts and fewer alcoholic beverages. Okay, so now about this, um, this diet that the upper class is, is consuming, it's very similar to the paleo diet. And what they shun is, is uh, bread, you know, flour type things, and um, the other thing is um, dairy. So their, their diet isn't perfectly balanced. It's actually lacking in two elements, dairy, and they're saying, well, we're getting it in the eggs. And the other thing is um, bread which is strange. And they say, well, historically people weren't eating these. This is not strictly true. In the Bible, there is a land of milk and honey and Jesus was the bread of life. So I think in time this could create, but they're creating um, um, an appearance that is making them look more refined. And then the lower class are eat, consuming more um, pasta, um, sandwiches, you know, high carb food, and they're getting fatter, and they're and they don't have as much good quality protein. But with some thinking, this could be overcome. So uh, that is what I wanted to say to you guys. And so now back to this really quick. This is a maroon uh, cruise ship, and the thing about this is, this picture is. This is not just represent, representation of children. There should be adults monitoring these kids. And so uh, what we have to do is we have to stock up on the things we're going to need, not just a coronavirus, anything, you know, to protect ourselves, to get our, our dwellings nice and clean. And the time to do it is, is now. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all. At night, I pray for you all. This diet is temporary. I just feel it's in my best interest to take off a little weight right now. God bless you all.